Hey, how's your summer going so far? Enjoying the heat? Anyway, I've got some really cool, nice, informative news for you. Beginning from this very moment until the end of the year, you'll be able to see the bright comet C2017 K2 pan stars. Do you have a small telescope or binoculars? If yes, then carry on watching this video because it will be very interesting. The comet was discovered back in May 2017 at an enormous distance of 16 astronomical units using a telescope located in Hawaii. Just so that you understand, at the moment of its discovery, the comet was located between the orbits of Saturn and Uranus, and it was one of the farthest comets scientists had ever seen. That entire time it had been traveling into the inner solar system, when it finally reached its closest point to Earth on July 14, 2022. Yes, the closest encounter took place almost a month ago, but this video is still relevant, because the comet will be pretty much visible until January 2023, but the best time to observe this comet is summer 2022, especially if you live in the northern hemisphere. It's slowly moving into the southern skies, and it won't be visible from the northern latitudes beginning from October 2022. The comet is 18 kilometers in size, an extremely large object that could evaporate our civilization if it ever collapsed into Earth. But don't worry, it's never gonna happen anyway. The comet already reached the closest point to our planet, which was at 270 million kilometers away from us. This nebulous thingy around the comet is called a coma, which is created by the sun's heat and expands into a vast 130,000 km wide halo of dust, which is similar to the size of Jupiter. Now, how about this one? The comet has been traveling from the Oort cloud, a very distant region of the solar system, for several million years and has covered a distance of 0.8 light years. Pretty impressive, isn't it? And you might think that this comet is visible to the naked eye. Uh, well, as I said earlier, no, it's not. It's visible only through small telescopes and binoculars, and naked eye visibility is not possible in this case. It'll remain at the same brightness for the next six months, but it will be visible in the Northern Hemisphere only until mid-September. Afterwards, it will keep slowly moving into the Southern Hemisphere sky. And now, the most intriguing moment of the video how and when to see the comet. The comet can be seen above southern, southwestern parts of the night sky. In the southern hemisphere, the comet is located even higher in the sky, which is a really good thing, because the higher the object in the sky is, the more details you can see. My followers from the southern hemisphere are in a very good position to observe the comet, while observers from the northern hemisphere will be watching how it's getting lower and lower and lower above the horizon. It will reach its closest point to the Sun on December 19, 2022, and it will stay visible in the Southern Hemisphere for a few more weeks after that. Just in the case with many other celestial objects, you'll be better off if you observe the comet in the area without light pollution. That would be quite pointless to try to see the comet in the downtown area of New York, Delhi, London or Kiev. Generally speaking, the best solution would be to go as far as 50 kilometers from the city center and spend at least 10 minutes looking at the sky without using any smartphones or laptops or any sources of light, because your eyes need to adapt to the darkness. When you finally find the comet, it will look like a blurry patch of light. One of the easiest ways to find this comet is by using apps. I left a link to the magnificent online planetarium called Stellarium. Stellarium has a simple interface. Using this tab you can set the necessary time, and by pressing this button you can indicate your location. Firstly, find the configuration button on the left side of the screen, and then click the plugins tab. Scroll down and click solar system editor. After that, click the configure button and then press on the Solar System tab. Click the Import Orbital Elements in MPC format and click the Lists tab. 
Here you need to select comets. Press on select a bookmark and then click the first option. Click the get orbital elements button and now you need to type the name of the comet. Select add object and you can easily find the comet in the sky by using this search window on the left. Once you manage to capture pictures of this comet, do not forget to join our Discord server where you can share these stunning images with other astrophotographers. And I'll also keep making videos on basically every comet, so do not forget to subscribe to Very Interesting Channel. And as always, thanks for watching Very Interesting Videos, bye.